y'all friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks, and today is a new granny square. It's a spiral, and I just love this spiral pattern. I created a really easy way to make sure that this very first corner right here shows up the way you want it to. I just love it. And you can see all of these different ones that I've that I've been playing with. I really like this one and this purple one. This one was Evie's idea because she loves purple. And they're about six inches wide. I'm using a five millimeter hook. You can see this one is a little bit smaller. I used a four and a half. So this one is about five and a half inches wide and this one is coming out right about six. So with a five millimeter hook, you get a six inch square. So let's get started. I'm gonna use the same colors that I used here because if you like some and I'll probably end up taking all of these swatches and all of these granny squares and making something really fun one day. So I'm going to make another one of these because it makes her happy. And all this is Red Heart Super Saver, Purple Tones, and White. We're going to start with white this time instead of starting with the purple. So here I started with purple, but I'll keep him right here. Alright, so here we go. We're going to make a magic circle, magic ring, and if you're unfamiliar with that, I have a, I think it's like two minute tutorial on how to do this. Really fast, really easy, and there's our ring. Boom. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and put in two double crochets into our ring. chain two. There's our first little cluster. And we're going to make a second little cluster of three double crochets. Chain two again. Two and three. So there's a cluster, there's a cluster, there's a cluster. We need one more. Chain two again for another corner and three double crochets. And then we'll pull our magic circle closed. So we're working right here and we have to go off this direction and turn the corner. So there's a corner, a corner, a corner. Now to do this corner you want to go through these first two chains. Go through the first chain with the double crochet get two of our loops. It's a double crochet right there. I'm going this little wonky looking one also. This is the only tricky part. Everything else is pretty darn easy. Two loops on that one. There we go. There we go. Boom, boom. Now we have the start of our square and we just started right here right here, turning that corner. And we're going to pull this loop out because we're going to start with our purple. So right here in the same place that we just were working, right here, insert your hook, come through, chain one. Now in that same stitch that we just added our purple, we're going to do a double crochet. And then also in the next two. Double crochet here and a double crochet here. Very easy peasy. Now we're at a corner so that is two double crochets. Chain two in between, another set of two double crochets. Now we made a corner. We want to keep going across this side, even though it's tiny, it's still a side. And you have to catch all three stitches. This one might hide a little bit. So just move your stitches over, move the purple over and you'll find it. Really easy. One, two, three. We're at another corner. So that's two double crochets, a chain two, and two more double crochet for that corner. Again, you pull these back just to make sure you catch this little stitch right here. 
need to catch that one every time we turn a corner. Two, three, and we're at another corner. One, two, double crochets, chain two, and two double crochet in that corner. Again. There we go. We're making some headway here. Now we just pull the purple out so it doesn't come undone. Then we're going to move back to the white and finish this little area right here, which we're turning this corner. So we'll get our loop back on our hook and in between the first double crochet that you made and that little chain one, we want to put in two right here. I'm going to put in two, double crochet, one and two, chain two, because now we're going to start making this corner right here. Into our next stitch that's available right here is our double crochet. We just made this corner right here. That This one is purple. I made it in white this time. And now just follow that same sequence. A double crochet on top of every other double crochet. And in the corner is two double crochets, chain two and two double crochet. So that really is the only tricky part and we just fixed it. So when you pull this nice and tight, barely have any of this showing at all. It'll be great. So we're going to move on to purple again. Just try to make this guy into a nice little square. I'll show you how we finish it off. So now it's easy peasy. This is just normal. Follow all the way around. Double crochet in the top of every double crochet. And the corner is two double crochet chain two, two double crochet. Let's move on to white and make this a little bit bigger. Again, remember we have to catch every stitch, so make sure this one's not hiding. Double crochet on top of every double crochet, and then our corner is two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets all in that same corner. And this is the way it is all the way around every round. So easy peasy. make this a little bit bigger and I will meet you when it's time to finish off. Alright, so here we are. We're almost done. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, and five. So we're just going to work out to this edge just like this. I'm going to show you how to finish this off. So when we get to the very end here with the purple. I'm going to put two double crochets into this corner and finish off my purple. Snip. Alright, finish off the purple. Now we're going to, back to our white, I'm going to take this tail and very loosely we need to be able to get to this stitch. If we pull it too tight, we'll have a little bit of trouble. So very loosely, keep it kind of bunched up, finish the rest of the white. Let's see, we've got it bunched out there a little bit because we can always pull this end. So double crochet on top of all of those purple ones. And there is the tricky part, why we leave this loose. Because if we pull it too tight, this stitch will disappear and we need this stitch. So there's our last double crochet in white. So we can finish that one off too. Snip, pull, nice pull there, pull this guy in. 
and now we have a nice little edge right here just like here just like here so that was perfect now the last thing that I like to do other than weave in my ends which I will do in a little while is I need a needle and we're gonna go back to our very beginning right here we're gonna hide this little smidge of purple we don't want it to show we're gonna pull that beginning strand of purple nice and tight we're gonna pull our white nice and tight and close our middle close up the middle we want to close up our magic circle and we're gonna just thread this go find this little stitch it barely shows at all it's underneath here because we pulled that purple nice and tight so all I'm going to do is come up anywhere is fine we're just going to work through these stitches a little bit and cover up anything you don't want to see which since we pulled that purple so nice and tight not even showing. Just kind of slip through anywhere you can to cover up any of that very beginning, that little one chain that we did, just in case it shows. We pulled our purple awfully tight, so it shouldn't be showing, but if it does, you have this tail to use. Now we'll just go through here, pull that back through, and tie these together in a knot. You can snip the purple one here and just weave this guy in with your needle. You can see that the same yarn, but I started with the purple here and I started with the white here, made it look very different. So it's fun. So there's my spiral granny square. I really like how these turned out. I think this one might be my favorite. I'm not sure. I think this one is. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Tell all your friends about me and stop back real soon. Thanks. Bye.